Hi, and welcome to my guide how to complete the Hazeel Cult quest. There are no quest stats or item requirements. For the recommendations, since there are two ways to complete this quest, one way I recommend you to bring a weapon to kill a combat 13, while if you choose the other one, you don't need to fight a combat 13, however the quest will take about a minute longer. And then, as always, some way to do using clothing, a couple of energy potions or one stamina potion will be enough. For the teleports, to greatly speed up this quest, an Ardoin cloak will be very helpful, but that is not necessary. However, the quest will take twice as long, and then maybe one teleport away after the quest is completed. Where to start this quest is here south of the East Ardoin Castle, north of the Clock Tower. For step 0, let's first pet Scraffy and then head inside. Inside, in the western room, or he wanders around the house on the main floor, let's talk to the guy with the red shirt called Cyril. Let's select option 1, what is wrong, and then select option 1 again to officially start the quest. Next, after the conversation is over, let's immediately use our monastery teleport of the Ardoin Cloak, or simply run south, crossing the bridge, and then go east. Southeast of the clock tower, you'll find some caves. Enter those and talk to Clifford inside. Select option 2 and say that you've made your decision. And now the path splits for those that want to defeat the combat 13 and possibly complete the quest one minute faster, and for the people that don't. If you're taking the combat route, they will need to select option 2 and side with Serol. If you don't, they will need to select option 1 to side with Azil. After you've made your decision, let's climb up the stairs, and just a bit up north, you'll find a valve. Turn it, and turn it left, and click to continue. Next, go east, and at the crossroad there should be another valve. Turn it, and then turn right. Click to continue and then go north. Oh wow, they've changed this quite a bit. Keep going north to the entrance of the Ardoin Zoo and the quest start of Cold War Quest. Turn that valve right. Then go west and go west of the clock tower. Next to the crate of the medium clue scroll, there you'll find the fourth valve. That one we will also need to turn right. Click to continue and then continue north. South of the mansion, that will be the fifth and the final valve. That one will also need to turn right. Next, if you've decided to side with Azil, which means the not combat route, you will have received some poison in your inventory. What we'll need to do is go inside, head into the dining room and climb down the stairs. Then use the poison on the cooking range to complete this part. Once you've used the poison on the cooking range or you've turned the valve west, let's teleport or run back to the Ardoin Monastery and let's head back inside the caves. Next, click on the raft to board it to make your way to Hazil's cult. If you've decided to take the combat route, let's talk to Alamone and then defeat him. His max hit is only 2. If you have decided to take the not combat route, then you will simply need to talk to Alamone. Once you've defeated the combat 13, let's search just at the eastern wall to find some armor. If you want some for yourself, then you can simply drop it and search just again for some more. Next, let's teleport or use a raft up north and let's make our way back to the Colonel Mans and let's make our way back to the quest start at the Cornelian's mansion. Once we're back at the house, the quest will be quite different if you've chosen the combat route or the not combat route. 
I'm going to start with the combat route, which means that you've sided with Cyril. Once back at the mansion, let's talk to him, to Cyril, to give him the armor back and to get your first and fake quest completion screen. Next, we will need to head upstairs, go into the eastern room and search a cupboard attached to the southern wall to find some poison. And this will trigger a cutscene that completes our quest. And congratulations, you've completed Hazil Cult Quest. You are awarded with 1500 thieving experience and 2005 coins. Now for those that sided with Hazil and took the not combat route, we'll first need to talk to the butler. Once we have spoken to the butler, we will need to once again head inside the basement or the kitchen and then search the crate right next to you to find a key. Once you have the key, Climb upstairs and make your way to the top floor, to the first floor, then head into the eastern room and knock at the wall next to the bookcase. There you'll find a ladder. Open and search the chest to find a scroll. With the scroll, we can teleport or make our way back to the caves to make our way back to Alimone and give him the scroll for another cutscene which will spawn Hazil. And that will complete your not combat route sided with Hazil. And congratulations, you've completed Hazil Cult Quest. You are awarded with 1500 thieving experience and 2000 coins. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.